What's up guys and good day to you. Hope you're having a great day. I want to do one of those videos where I just talk to you about a little bit of motivation. In the past we've talked about business or personal goals or things like that and I wanted to share a quote with you that has really really been game changing for me. It's actually something that I learned in the workplace that I apply in my life and everything that I do. This quote is by a very successful businessman who, when you think about this quote at the heart of everything that it's meant to do, it is about urgency, it is about going where you know you want to do, and it's about failing fast. And what I mean about failing fast is, you know, you and the people around you are all striving to get to the top, and especially as this relates to business owners, if you let your competition get ahead of you, that hits you where it hurts, which is in the pocketbook. And I think even for me as uh, an aspiring creator on YouTube, if there's a, a unique or creative idea that you know I really want to put forth and want to be original, that's something you have to do and you have to do it now. But I'll get to the quote. The quote goes like this. There are only two sources of competitive advantage. The ability to learn more about our customers faster than our competition and the ability to turn that learning into action faster than our competition. And that is from the longtime CEO of GE, which is General Electric, Jack Welsh. Jack Welsh is a great leader. He's written a lot of awesome, awesome books where you can, you know, look at those. I'll put a link in the description below if you are interested in any of Jack's books. But really, really great businessman if you do uh, want to check that out. And like I said, it really gets after the ethos of a small business, a scrappy business, and the, the ability that a small business has to go after, you know, uh, an insight. You know, even as a creator, like I said, right? the ability to learn about our consumers. So the ability for me to learn about you guys, the ability for me to go into my own analytics and try to find a story. When I work professionally, that's actually what I do. My job is to find stories in data and how does that translate to actionable insights for the brands that I work for. Now, obviously those brands, that's not connected with YouTube. That's my professional job in working in advertising, but the principle still applies. But the most important part about, you know, way more important than finding an actionable insight is acting on that insight. And so that is the most important thing that you can do. It's very important that you actually do something about the insights that you get. And then, even more so than that, if I was to take Jack's quote one step further, is the results analysis. Did it work? Doing sort of the post analysis of would I do that again and if so how? I think it's really easy to get overwhelmed when you are a business owner or if you work for someone uh, who keeps you really close to their business. I, I, it's, you know, it's just all about advantage and if you think about it as you know, two people doing battle and it's you and your competition, right? Like you guys are scratching and clawing for everything that you can possibly get. And that is a lot of times market share. That could be um, local business share, all kinds of things. And what you have to do is really, really think about what can you do to set yourselves apart that is a competitive advantage and look in places that are not obvious. Another thing, just as it relates to all of this, when I talked about fail fast, right? That's about making decisions. So as it relates to your competition or even just you in life, you're gonna come to a resolution. You're gonna get to the place you want to be by making decisions. You know, if you, if you make a choice and it's wrong and you fail and it doesn't work, learn from it, pick yourself up, and move on. It, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of quotes today, but that does remind me of a Winston Churchill quote that actually says, success is moving from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. And that, I mean, that's another quote that you can just live by, not just in business, but in your personal life. You know, you don't have to do it right. There's not a, a handbook, there's not a manual for everything that we're supposed to do in our lives. It's all about the choices that we're making. It's all about the choices that we could make, right? And we don't make the right choices every time. There are things in Alice and I's lives. We make a choice and this is what we're gonna do. We do it and then we're like, crap, that didn't work. We're gonna have to move on and pick ourselves up and just keep going. Because the moment that you just give up is the moment that progress stops. Success dies 
when you choose to do nothing. And it's an important lesson to learn. It's a lesson that is most valuable when you learn from other people's mistakes. A lot of people are very headstrong. I am a very headstrong person. I want to do it my way a lot of times, but it is, it's, it's a warning that you should heed from the people that love you and care about you when they try to offer you advice and uh, have you learn from their mistakes because they may have failed fast, right? And now they don't wanna see that happen to you. So today I'm just having a little bit of a different video. Like I said earlier, talking to you guys about some of the quotes that I really live my life by. And the quote from Jack Welsh, the quote from Winston Churchill, are ones that just are really in my DNA, the things that I hold true, and I'm all about action. That's what I love about my life is I'm a jump with two feet, don't look back kind of guy, and sometimes that gets me into trouble, you know, where I get really excited and I like go into something and maybe I didn't think it all the way through and I'm like, oh crap, here we go. I'm sure Allison can think of like a ton of examples of that, but we're not talking about me right now. But you know, it's just, it's just do it guys. Just do it, jump in, make choices, fail fast, and do not let that impede your success. Because when you don't lose that enthusiasm, when you learn faster than your competition, you will get to be successful. You cannot achieve success without failure. I think that is what the most important lesson that I could teach you guys, or at least tell you, if you don't know that already, is that it is highly, highly unlikely that you start any endeavor without and to be successful in whatever that is and don't fail at least once and have to learn and pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go after it and get it. So thanks a lot guys, today's different video, different vlog, but wanted to tell you guys because this has been on my mind lately and whenever I have something on my mind, I like to share it with you guys, my awesome community, Allison's awesome community. She is in the other room doing her blog stuff and like that stuff has just been taken off. I don't know if any of you have seen her blog, but it's beautiful and it's, it's incredible and it's so awesome to see everything that I've just been talking about manifest in Allison and have her take that off. And this is a lot of the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this today too, because she had a dream, she had a vision, and now it is coming to life. And it's growing in ways that we are getting uncomfortable, you know, having to figure out things that we didn't otherwise think of or knew that we needed to solve for until now. So it's just really, really exciting. Thanks for being on this journey with us. Give this video a thumbs up and we will see you tomorrow in another vlog. Bye guys.